What is up my Pika crew? This is the Pika Wu and welcome to episode 1 of LBAT. Let's build a team. So I'm going to explain what this new video series is and I'm actually not going to be commentating this battle but generally I will in episode 2, episode 3 and so on for this series. But basically I wanted to build a new series in which I can actively interact with my viewers and subscribers and I thought that would be a perfect idea um, and LBAT does that perfectly so um i really wanted to build a more community-based channel so that's why i always do like question of the days on my in, on my videos but i felt like i wanted to interact more and i think lbat is successful in doing so because um in a nutshell what it is is together we're going to build a team we're going to edit the team through um the next episodes and so on and we're going to get it to rank number one or at least as high as we can get um, on the Pokemon Online ladder, Smoke on Server. And uh, if you guys like this idea, please be sure to help support me out by giving me a like and a favorite. And uh, tell me if you want me to continue this series, please tell me so in the comment section below because um, this is a relatively new series. No one, I think, not many, no one has like done something close to this. So I think I'm the first one to start this type of series I guess so I don't know if it's a good idea or not hopefully it is um, basically the main goal of this series is to build a more community based channel a community based video series in which we can work together to build a super team um, a team that just demolishes the NU tier and um, I guess I can explain the structure since you now know a little bit about what LBAT is I will uh, talk about the structure of the videos for the next episodes. Basically in the beginning of the videos I will show you the team and all the edits I made. Um, the edits are based off of comments I get from the previous video telling me to change the team like oh I don't like superior because it's too frail or it's not strong enough. Um, change it to another Pokemon or you need a better stealth rocker use Golem or whatever. Some, some like feedbacks. I will look at all feedback, I will test them out, I will post another video, and in the beginning I will show all the edits that I made. And I will do so for episode 3, episode 4, and so on. And then after I make the edits, I will show you a Pokemon battle. Similar to what you're seeing right now, um, you, don't have to be pay, you don't have to pay attention to the battle that you see right now. Um, doesn't matter if you're watching or not, um, that's not too important. But um, generally I will commentate and narrate these videos but for this episode I'm gonna talk about LBAT instead but um afterwards well generally these Pokemon battles that I will be showing in the uh, episodes there will be losses because I want to show the weakness in this team and um, that's why I'm gonna be showing um, losses so after the battle finishes there's probably gonna be a one two minute analysis of what went wrong in the battle and um, threats that I see after um, battling and then I will ask directly you guys I will ask you guys directly um, to help me out by uh, leaving feedback and help changing this team in the comment section below um, so yeah that's basically what LBAT is gonna be and um, if you guys want to help out this team more you can join LBAT um, by help testing out this team directly on Pokemon Online, all the importing information will be in the description below. And uh, if you do so, please be sure to write LBAT in your username so I can see if you guys are part of my, you know, my group. And if you're, I want to see like how many people on the server is actually going to be um, testing out this team or not when I'm online testing the team out too. And you know, if you guys are on at the same time, feel free to challenge me. Um, we can test out the team together and uh, that would be really cool so um, that's pretty much all that's pretty much it about LBAT basically we're gonna build a team and it's gonna be awesome so um, the team that you see right now on this Pokemon battle this is the team that we're gonna be editing I just slapped six random Pokemon sets that I liked onto a team and um, we're gonna you know gradually through the next episodes um, change up some Pokemon change up some movesets um, basically in this battle I lose obviously I'm gonna post losses um, mainly because he used a stall team so 
from this battle I learned that um, I don't do too well against all teams. Um, toxic spikes were terrible and destroyed my team. Um, so I guess since we have a couple of minutes, I'm just going to explain the Pokemon roster on my team. Uh, first Pokemon is Zipstrika. It has max special attack, max speed, timid nature with a choice specs item and the lightning rod ability. And it has Thunderbolt, Hidden Power, Grass, Overheat, Volt Switch. Um, the reason why I chose specs is because Zepstrike is one of the fastest Pokemon in the tier. So um, it can pretty much outspeed stuff and can hit hard with this choice specs. Hidden Power Grass is for water types and ground types. Um, overheats for steel types such as Metang. And Volt Switch, Thunderbolt are electric types. Volt Switch is for switch initiative. Then I have Gabite or Gabite. Don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, max attack, max speed, with the Sandville ability, Jolly Nature, and the Evil Light, and it carries Stealth Rocks, Hone Claws, Earthquake, and Dragon Rush, and it's a support Pokemon that can easily turn offensive too, and basically the goal of this team is to be a more offensive based team. Um, Stealth Rocks are important because there's like Ninjask in the tier, Braviary in the tier, so um, Stealth Rocks will greatly harm those like scary flying Pokemon. Hone Claws to boost attack, Earthquake, and Dragon Rush. Dragon Rush has low accuracy, but after Hone Claws, it will gain very good accuracy. I'm torn between changing Dragon Rush to Outrage because I feel like getting accuracy without, you know, boosting up first is also important. But, uh, we'll see. Superior is my third Pokemon. Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Timid Nature with Life Orb and the Overgrow ability. It has Taunt, Calm Mind, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, Rock. Hidden Power, Rock for flying types. Giga Drain for Stab, Calm Mind to boost your special attack. And Taunt to shut down Pokemon like Probopass and Golem and Quagsire and stuff like that. Then it's Weezing, Max HP, Max Defense. And uh, it carries the Black Sludge and uh, Levitate ability. And it has Sludge Bomb, Will-O-Wisp. Paint Split and Clear Smog. It's basically the physical wall on the team. And uh, basically it doesn't allow Pokemon to set up. And it just walls fighting types. Very nice Pokemon. Um, also, fifth Pokemon, Samurott. I love this Pokemon. You've definitely seen it in a couple of my videos. Um, max Attack, Max Speed, Jolly Nature with the Lumberry. Has the Torn ability with Swords Dance, Waterfall, Aqua Jet, and Mega Horn. Um, you've seen what this set does. It's crazy good. One of the best sweepers in the tier. There's really nothing else I need to talk about um, with Samurott. Um, and my last is Licky Licky. My favorite Pokemon on this team. And uh, I really want to use Licky Licky on this roster. Hopefully we don't change him out. And uh, basically it's max HP. Not max HP, 224 EVs and HP, 32 attack, 128 defense, and 124 speed. And it has the leftovers, Cloud 9 ability to stop Rain Dance teams short, or not short, stop them cold. Substitute, Swords Dance, Body Slam, and Power Whip. Very awesome set. Gets walled by steals though, but um, it has substitute because it can avoid status and... It can start setting up sword stances. So that's the team. Hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed the battle. If you were watching. And um, yeah. So basically now that I've talked about the team a little bit. I'll talk about. Um, I, I guess I can an anal analyze what happened. Uh, what went wrong in the current battle. So basically. Um, got destroyed by a stall team. He got stealth rocks and toxic spikes up. And if he didn't get those entry hazards up. I probably would have won so um, I need to fix this team in which um, I can get rid of hazards or you know in which hazards don't really affect me toxic spikes were painful I need to get rid of I need something to counter toxic spikes so um, if you have any feedback please be sure to um, tell me so and yeah this is gonna be the end of the video uh, by the way, if I haven't said so already, feel free to test my team out on Pokemon Online, and this is the Pikawoo. Um, I'll see you guys in episode 2 of LBAT, and we'll be editing the team some more, so peace out guys.